Books, books, and none of them what we're looking for. I was hoping it would be in this corner, but apparently not. And here, a line of incredibly dusty encyclo... Huh? That's odd. There are nine of them. Volume 6 is missing. Huh, that's weird. Did some birdie misfile them? Anyway, St. Pigeonation's history. It's not back here with the large volume, so maybe it's a smaller book? It's not here. Huh? You never left? Is that a problem? Well, not really, but I told you earlier there's an emergency going on. Hmm. Hmm? I can't tell if he doesn't realize what's going on or just doesn't care. The records. Huh? Keep looking there and you'll and you'll never find them. S so you know where they are? Yep. Well, since he's here even now, I imagine he's basic he basically lives in here. So it's hardly surprising that he knows where to find things. I don't have much time. Could you tell me where to find them? By request. R request? You don't know what that you don't know what that is? He gazes at me with eyes like black holes of cosmic disdain. You can only get at them by request. They are not kept out here. Then where are they kept? Behind the reception desk in the back. It's not locked, so go ahead. There are a number of bookshelves behind the desks. It's true. Thank you, Nageki, really. Don't worry about it. You've been mumbling to yourself ever since we split up. Please try to remain in charge of your faculties, Kawara. Oh, sorry, I was talking to him. Talking? To the bookshelves? Surely there are better uses for your energy. No, Nageki was telling me where to find the... There's no one else here. Cease this bizarre monodrama. monodrama. Um... What is he talking about? Nageki is standing right next to me. It's not like he's behind a shelf or something. I was worried he was a figment of my imagination for a minute, but he just told me where to find the records. But Sakia, Let's find out. Can I ask you something, Nageki? Yes. Are you... a hallucination? If I was, that would mean you're asking a hallucination whether or not he's in a hallucination. Yeah, that's right. It does seem a little weird. Does it matter? Maybe I am, or maybe I'm not. That doesn't answer anything! This doesn't usually happen. Uh, this doesn't usually happen. I've never been able to talk to a bird I've just met before. I think I will remember everything soon. What about you? Have you found the thing you forgot yet? Huh? N Nageki, do you know? Do you know something about that? Huh? He disappeared. The thing I forgot. That's exactly what the doctor said too. Why did Nageki know about that? It wasn't just a coincidence, was it? Am I forgetting something important about all this? I don't think I can dismiss him as just an hallucination. Request only books. This shelf. Looks like it. I see a lot of the same books as... As were in the headmaster's office. Chronological... Chronology... Wait, chronological? Largely? Chronologically? Chronology. Chronology! There we go. Pronunciations! Okay. Chronology of St. Pigeonations. This? Let's see. 2180. Founding... Question mark. Founding of the school. Same year. Ichijo Kitsugu... Kitsugu... Inaugurated as headmaster. 2810. Much more recent than I had thought. Only eight years? I hadn't known either. Aside from that, it's all transfer student records and sports scores. Is there really a clue in here? Sports scores. Wait! Sakia, look at this! 
2183. Medical center shut down to, to, due to fire. Medical center? Does the school have something like that? I don't think so. There was no mention of it in the student guide. I suppose it was never reopened. Does it say anything else? Um, right here. Damage from the fire. Huh? The book pre presents us with a new mystery, as if to taunt our inability to hold all those we already have. A new sort of mystery. 2183, medical center shut down due to fire. Fresh... What? Freshman Fujishiro Nageki died in the basement where the fire started. Died in the basement? No. Nageki... When you romance Nageki, he reveals to you that he killed himself in the library. Didn't I just hear that name? The exact same, but that's... Nageki died five years ago? Then what is the Nageki I kept meeting today? A ghost! Haven't you figured it out? <laughs> he didn't deny that he was in hallucination. Sakya couldn't see him. Which means he's... A ghost? D -d Don't say such dreadful things! It is unscientific! To this... I don't even know. Huh. We're betting our lives on this search, you know. I won't have any occult rubbish brought into it. But I think he knew something. If he is the same bird, then he could be the key to solving this mystery. So you intend to rely on some invisible ghost. There are limits, Kawara. I spent some time looking for him in the library, but couldn't find him. He's always found me, rather than the other way around. I'll just have to wait for him to show up again. The bloodstained bird. Hmm. Do you have any idea? I feel like I should. It's not something I'd encounter normally, but for some reason... Don't I know some birdie like that? Vague. Vague as always. We do have a time limit here. We must not fall behind. I know, I know. If I remember what it is, I'll say it right away. Maybe Yuya is still in there? Let's go ask him. He did say he was there until he returned home. If anyone went in, he should have seen them. However, he said he saw nothing out of the ordinary. If what, sa if what said is true, then he was lying. Which would mean that the doctor was lying, too. Hmm. Very well. Yuya! Salutations. How's the investigation? Well, just who do you think I am? Yeah, yeah. Unlike me, you're a very capable bird. Yuya, we wanted to ask you something. Oh? I'll answer anything that doesn't involve vi doesn't violate my privacy, so ask away. Did you really not see anything yesterday after school? I'm not sure what you mean. I thought the doctor and I had verified each other's innocence. We were in the infirmary the entire time. We talked to San earlier. He said that he saw a blood-stained stranger go going into the infirmary yesterday. Did you see anything like that? Um... Nope. Sorry. Could you be the bloodstained bird yourself? Yikes! No, as you can see, I'm not hurt anywhere at all. Besides, he said he saw this bird going into the infirmary, not going into... Wait. Wait. Besides, he said he saw this bird going to the infirmary, not going into the infirmary, right? Yeah, he did. Anyway, I didn't see anything. There's not much more I can say. Right, Doctor? Yes, that's right. No one came yesterday. I don't think we'll find anything more here, Sakya. Let's move on. <clears throat> Indeed. Did those two really not see anything yesterday? Is If there had actually been some bloodstained stranger then... 
That would mean that Yuya and the Doctor are hiding something. Clearly! Clearly they are hiding something. Where do we... Hmm. The medical center seems like a good place to go now. Indeed. Where is it? That's the problem. I've never heard of it before either. It sounds rather large. I wouldn't expect it to be that hard to find. The record board said the fire broke out in the basement and if the building was burnt to the ground, it would have said so. It should still be here then. Assuming it wasn't demolished. Assuming it... Whoa. Are there any unused buildings on the campus? Unused buildings? Hmm. Oh yeah, that old hall. Old hall? That's what we call it. It's by the back gate and it's not used for... What's wrong? The school hasn't been around for 10 years. What reason does it have for having an old hall? Ugh. Oh. Now that you mention it, that is kind of strange. Come, guide me there. And away! This is it. it. Doesn't really look like a medical center. It's pretty much the same as the main building, yeah. Looks like the door's locked. Then we shall break it down. You're starting to sound like a delinquent, Sakia. What? What did I say? Don't worry about it. We'd probably be suspended for breaking in here, but this is an emergency and we're about to die, so... We don't have much choice. Oh, that sound effect. <laughs> it's awfully dusty in here. It looks exactly the same. It has been left unused for five years. Hmm. It appears they didn't leave much behind. Everything's empty. I wonder if they cleared everything out when they sealed the building. This all looks pretty much the same as in the main building. Bah! Do we come here for nothing? Let's look around a little more. Look, this door still has a sign on it. I guess it was the reference room. I do not relish the prospect of wandering around this mausoleum of schoolrooms, but very well. Let me guess, it looks exactly like the library! Okay, something different. Yay! It's even dustier in here. The shelves are marked with dates. Perhaps they once held medical records. There's nothing left now, though. And... Operation Hatiful. Huh? Among the rows of dates, sure enough, there's a shelf labeled Operation Hatiful. Empty as well. It would have been asking too much to hope to find anything anyway. Operation Hatiful. I wonder what it is. Who knows? Something put in, put in place along with the human representative business, so no doubt it was nothing good. Is Operation Hatiful connected to this medical center? What if it's the source of the mystery we're tangled in now? My head hurts. Heh! <laughs> no kidding, Ryuta. The only things left are... Hmph. Archaic medical journals. Huh? It's the encyclopedia. An odd place to keep one. Wait, look at the volume numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6, 7, 8, 10, 11, 12. What? Does this unpleasant arrangement hold some meaning? I saw them like this in the library, too. Bunch of old encyclopedias. Yeah. Can I look at these for a bit? Do as you please. The ones in the library had the same in same binding. And in the place of volume 9, there's an extra copy of volume 6. Look! This copy of volume 6 has a library sticker on it. Perhaps it came from the library, then. Someone must have brought it in here when the medical center was still open. They probably switched it with volume 9. An unpleasant piece of mischief, to be sure. Yeah. The other volumes all seem as they should. There probably isn't anything in the extra copy of volume 9, but maybe we should go see if it came from here. You mean the extra copy of volume 6, not 9? When we get back to the main building, let's go check the library. Provided it isn't a mere waste of time. 
We leave the reference room and continue our investigation of the medical center. We searched the entire first floor and have yet to find what we're lo what we're after. What about the basement? Yeah, the stairs into the basement? Apparently the fire that closed this building five years ago started in the basement. But we haven't found it yet. The elevator the elevator doesn't have a button for it either. How do we get in? Perhaps we can't anymore. Huh? Look at that wall. The wall? It looks like a normal concrete wall to me. Don't you see it? Stupid peasant. What about it? Think back to the building's exterior on the second floor. There shouldn't be a wall here. It's small, but there's a space behind there. It must have been sealed off after the fire. Now that he mentions it, the wall is slightly different color than the rest. Which would make sense if it had been put in later. So the stairs are beyond here? It seems likely. Isn't this a bit much for a cleanup for some fire? We probably won't be able to break this down. Not if, unless we have explosives. Hey, the maintenance worker might have explosives. Let's ask him. If we can't get in there, I doubt we'll find anything more of use in here. At least we found that thing from the headmaster's documents again. Yeah, let's head back. Oakside? Did you hear something? Yes. Someone else just broke in here. This could be bad. We're in a dead end with concrete all around. We need to get somewhere with a window fast. Run! Yeah! Or it's probably Oaksan trying to, you know, follow us. Stop! Ugh! It's here! Wait! Calm down, Kawara! Wait! Calm down, Kawara! It's small. Angel! So it is. Too small to be a scarecrow. Huh? Aren't you from 2 2? I am the Crimson Fallen Angel! Angel! I knew it. The manga club boy from the class next door. He's famous around the school for being a nutcase, but what is he doing in here? I think I'm gonna have- I think I'm going to have a headache. Textures Melodone Furnerus! Who, me? Good for you, Kawara. He came all this way to give you a title. It's not good at all. Nothing but trouble will come of it. I don't know why you came here, Angel, but it's dangerous. We're supposed to be in the gym with everybody with everybody else, so come on, let's go back. I am not allowed to rest. Not until I've fulfilled my duty. In accordance to the pack of old, I must seal you here now, Textorus, Melodonia Furnace, Undertaker! Undertaker? If that's it, then, um... So the time has come at last. I will not be stopped now, Crimson Angel Judesca. Come! What? 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 What is this? Angel, Crimson Fallen Angel is... What? What is it? What? Why is Angel fighting me? Why is Ryuta okay with this? What the fuck? Ugh. Epic music going on, man. Angel uses Dark Void Shockwave. Ow. Okay. Ryuta's turn. Blue Moon says Deathbringer? Uh, well, I guess I gotta go with Deathbringer. Cause, I need this- I need this wrapped up now. Angel takes 60 damage, Jesus. Cease this jack acting, you wretched imbeciles! Saki attacks! Ryuta takes- Yo! We're supposed to be on the same side! Oh, Ryuta returns to his senses. Angel takes 295 damage? Angel is shaken. Are we done? We're done. Excellent. Huh? I am shocked, Kawara, to, e to think that even you would go along with that farce. What? He disrupted my territory. I got carried away by Angel before I even noticed. Influencing the very reality of his surroundings is a frightful power indeed. You! Lose- Lose on! What did you come here to do? After what you just did, I think you may be our prime suspect. I came here to do but one thing. 
I must follow the demon spores. A whole new variety of what the heck are you talking about? <laughs> I like that line. Perhaps you could explain in normal Japanese? Your dialect is somewhat opaque. I don't think he it's just his dialect, Sakia. The end is calling me. That is all. That this is the cross I must bear. He stares off into space as if gazing in at some something far away. Maybe that's bas that basically means that he's a thrill seeker? So you are a moth allured by a candle's light, Luzon. No! I am stained in crimson, clad in night, unforgiven. My eternal blood seal calls me to purgatory. Ah, more crazy talk. It's not exactly... It's not exactly a blood seal that blood-stained chest is just the way bleeding heart plumage looks. Oh. What is it, Kawara? Blood-stained chest. Uh, Sakuya, do you think maybe the blood-stained stranger Sansa was... Huh? <gasps> Angel, where were you yesterday after school? What were you doing? Battling minor demons of ball and following the demon spores. Could you rephrase that? Rufa, the tree of blight, called out to me. He's asking you, y you to saying it using words we understand. Hollowed magician of white, your anger now. It is the power of the demon spores. I think it's the power of you, angel. Bah! I must comprise. compromise. I was in the place that ignorant may refer to as the infirmary. I knew it. I think we need to talk. I think we n we need to talk to you. Come. And so he left the medical center, Sakia dragging Angel behind him. Oh goody. Cuckoo! <coughs> this is the one! This is the bloodstained stranger, Oksansa! That's that then. We need to know what you did yesterday. Did you go to into the infirmary? If I could, I would have. But only the chosen one can stop the demon spores. In other words, he didn't. Useless! The gate was sealed with the power of darkness! However, Edo Blue did, did venture within. Edo Blue? Edo Blue? Who was that? Explain in terms known at, to sane individuals, please. The Apostle of the Blue Sky, Edo Blue. She also goes by Tosaka Hiyoko. Hiyoko went into? What? I hate it when it fades to black screen because then I feel like it's like something automatically happens or I click. Hiyoko was in the infirmary yesterday after school. But the doctor and Yuya said that no one came and nothing happened. They're lying. Well, we kind of already figured that they were kind of lying due to the fact that they were like, um, 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 um. So for some reason, they're lying. <clears throat> oh, damn it! I don't know whether that's a glitch or not that, like, it pops up. But we'll see. Oh, boy. You are different from those peasants, Sakuya. You were chosen from the day you were born. You must remain conscious of this. Yes, father. We are the chosen ones. It is our duty to guide the foolish common folk. Yes, father. Look at them, crawling in the mud. There, the, there is no value in their lives. Were it not for our compassion, the world would die as miserable as they live. Yes, father. Their very blood is tainted. Their world is not yours. You must never speak with them again. Do you understand? Yes, father. To Japan? Yes. You will be staying there for some time. Arrangements have already been made for your education. Remember, you, mu you must such as to bring honor to our family, Sakya. Yes, father. Also, Dr. Yumine is in residence at the institution you will be attending. He is a prestigious doctor. It would not be exaggerating to say that our current glory is thanks, to, thanks in part to him. Do not disrespect him. 
Yes, Father.